So the real question I have is why do they get to fly that? And they give me this. What do I pay taxes for anyways? Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And as you can see, I have done a little bit of work. I did. Uh, made some storage here, got them labeled. Uh, one of the things I noticed is uh, if you change the text on the sign, it actually changed it to open aluminum. So it matches whatever's on the chest or the sign. So you don't really need to have them, have the labels visible. I was going to have them right next to each other to get more storage. Uh, but eventually we are going to be... Uh, able to upgrade to bigger storage as it is, you can see right here locker storage and this holds about three times I think what those crates are uh, that's a little ways away right now as you can see we're not doing anything right now I've been uh, like I said I wanted to hold off unlocking anything off camera uh, it's been about an hour or so doing this I also did a little thing up here too is I put a couple of these rounded corners in here so we can get a little, little observation deck and then I'm setting up a platform here for the power system. Uh, I took the two heaters apart downstairs, brought them up here to uh, make two big heaters. Uh, I might put a third in here, but I want to uh, I want to get better power going. That's what I've got that out there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up some solar panels right now. I need some cobalt. I don't know how many solar panels we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need some anyways. Uh, I might keep the turbines up just in case we don't actually generate power with the solar at night. So we're going to go up here, and uh, these will be replaced by the tier 2 eventually. Oh, silicone. Forgot that. Eh, that's kind of interesting. I know we can get the glass floor. It'll be interesting to see if uh, the glass floor will actually match that curved area. Uh, silicone. Uh, yes, as you can see, I did pick up a bunch of stuff. Uh, a few pieces of aluminum, uh, ice... Uh, cobalt, well, what's left of it, magnesium, all that stuff. And then I sorted out uh, the other chests here, um, the rare, rare stuff, the uranium and iridium in here, and fabric, water, whatever. Uh, again, just temporary. So let's get the power up and going, and let's start unlocking some stuff. All right, so, uh, solar panel. Uh, let's put it here for now. Power it back on, and... I can't overlap them, but I'm not going to. What is going on here? I have no idea. Uh, in case you didn't know, the game is really accessed right now, so it's a little buggy. Uh, I know the rocks, they have a very large hitbox, so that makes it a little difficult to do things sometimes. So we'll get a few more. I will actually deconstruct this one. Move this one up. That's what I did. I just took out, took out a solar panel while I was moving, uh, doing stuff off camera, so I didn't, you know, terraform more than I wanted to. So, and, uh, yeah, put you there for now. Uh, grab some more silicone. Let me get a few more solar panels and I'll be right back. Alright, and that'll make six for now. Uh, I don't really like the spacing on it. Um, I have a feeling it might be like rocks into the ground like this one here. I know that big one over there was having issues with um, placing the foundations. I can place them higher if I wanted, if I had iron on me, which I don't. But uh, next is we're going to start producing some more pressure. So I need more iron and titanium for the drill. What do I have on me? Two titanium. Okay, we're going here. Yes, those things are loud. I think I want to put another one in here. I might actually put a few more floors onto this place and put them way up there so I'm here. Or uh, I thought about trying to expand the base, but for some reason it won't let me actually expand on this side for some reason. There's nothing actually obstructing it, but I can go across up top there. So I don't know what I'll do. Maybe go across like that. And so on and so forth. Uh, yes, I want to... When it gets more drills going. This is why I'm producing power, I'm trying to produce more power because you know these things are going to use a lot of it. Okay, another one there, and another one here, and then I'll probably. That's what I need for a veggie tube. Uh, ice and magnesium. Uh, what do I have for the seeds? Oh, I put them over here. Uh, 150 times. Sure, let's see. I need ice. 
and nope, magnesium, and ready to tube two. Probably put these in their own little area too. Oh, put up that one, and we got the beacon. I might actually build that because you can get lost. All right. Oh, don't mind me. All right. And oh, I guess I'll need the seed. Take that one and put it in here. And let's see how fast we're terraforming now. So oxygen's up to five per second now. So that's going up pretty good. Heat's climbing and pressure's going up. All right, let's see what's next. Solar panels we're getting very soon, so we'll have to switch those over. Food grower at uh, in a little bit. We gotta get that oxygen going up, and this is gonna be unlocked in a little while as well. All right, uh, what did we actually unlock? Oh yeah, the beacon. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and build that. Titanium, silicone, and aluminum. Okay. Uh, of course, nothing I actually have on me. And oh, aluminum. In fact, what I'll do is, what do we need for the heater? Just need more iridium. Might as well build another one of those. It's not quite loud enough upstairs. Be nice if you could actually feel the heat. All right. And how far are we? 10%. Going up pretty fast. And there's the solar, solar panels. Now, what do I need for them? Aluminum. So we're going to have to go on a bit of an adventure. We might go explore that cave, I think, while all this stuff builds up. Uh, we're going to put a beacon down. Silicone and aluminum. I used it all. That's right. Oh, I'm stuck. I uh, learned something like about early access games, all these, all these uh, unexpected things. Uh, I'm in a high part of the co compartment right now, so if I jump, I get full height. If I jump in here, I sort of hover. Because I'm still technically jumping up, but the, the game's not realizing I'm hitting uh, a lower part, not sending me right back down. So I thought that was pretty funny. All right, it's silicone, and uh, what was I building? Oh yeah, the beacon. Uh, beacon go, has to go outside. Uh, oh, I can't put it there. Too bad. Uh, put it right there. Okay, and I do believe I can change the color of it. No. All right, um, let's go on a little bit of exploration, grab some aluminum and see if we can find some more food and stuff like that. So let me get some stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I'm ready to go. Um, one of the things that did happen is we unlocked the communications antenna. I haven't used this yet. Um, uh, I've only played the prologue, and I don't think it allowed you to get to this point. Uh, there was a certain cutoff in the terraformation where it just basically cut you off, cut, cut you off right there. Uh, this is... Oh, receiving transmissions. I have no idea. Maybe there's some more lore to it. There's a screen for that as well. And was that it for what we got? I believe so. But anyways, uh, let us go. So we're going to head up this way here. Uh... Probably should have made some more ice water, but that's good. Uh, I do need some food. Uh, I gotta get the food grower, which we're gonna get eventually. We'll come in due time. Oh, we're gonna head up this way. We might even go into the cave just for the fun of it. Uh, what I should do, actually. Oops. Stop hitting the wrong buttons is what I should do. Uh, what was it? Three iron, two titanium, and one... What did I need for it? Silicone. Yes. Make a little uh, cheaty oxygen hunt. At least the night cycles are pretty pretty short. Okay. Shout out titanium and one more titanium. There's one right over there. I just go by the shapes now, not by the colors. But there's lots of stuff, like there, like I said, there's another biome over there. Um, apparently from what I've seen there's like these golden chests we can come across too, so that's always quite interesting. Uh, as far as exploration, this is about as far as I've gone. I think there's a... Yeah, there's another wreckage right over there, I don't know if you can see it. But here is the cave. And this is actually really cool. Uh, what I'm going to do... Go ahead and build a little... 
little habitat. Go in, grab some oxygen, then go back out. And that's why I got the beacon, so I can know which, at least know which direction I got ahead. Alright. Uh, as far as I know, there is no hostile creatures in the game. Oh, that scared me. That's actually very handy, too. Um, it's sort of a PvE. I don't think there's really anything that can hurt you in the game right now except the fall damage. Ooh, we got a bed. Sweet. So, as you can see, we can find iridium here. And then can also find aluminum. There's aluminum right there. I haven't really explored this too much, because uh, I have a tendency to get lost. Ooh, lots of aluminum here. I just gotta remember I gotta go to my back. Uh, the beacon's gotta basically be on my right, I do believe. Is that ice? Yeah, I don't know what the ice, do ice is doing down here. Very cool. What else we got in here? Not gonna lie, that did scare me. Very interesting. And also, at the same time, slightly terrifying. Because nobody knows what's here. It could jump out and attack me. They say there's no hostile creatures, but they could be lying about that one. Maybe the stuff I'm picking up is, like, highly radioactive. Oh. There's a chest. We have... Another microchip. Cool, I'll take that. I need the food. Where did I pick up? Beans. Okay. Okay, uh, see what else we can find. Silicone, don't need that. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna continue looking around. If something goes wrong or I find something, I'll bring you back. Well, I found another one of these caves. Or these, uh, formations. What is this? This might be aluminum. And this starts melting at 100, uh, nano Kelvin or whatever, but I don't know what it is. Oh, wait, what does that say? Oh, same thing. Huh. A little ways to go on that, but I have a feeling that might be aluminum. Be handy. Ooh, another box. It's in here. More seeds, mushrooms. Hmm. Probably leave that. Oh, could take that. Got the room for it. Okay, and I'll also take that water. We'll be filling, using that pretty soon, so I'll continue on. Okay, I decided to run home quickly. There wasn't too much in the cave. It honestly wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be on the inside, so I didn't really actually get lost. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to decode this chip and see what I get. Mining speed tier 3. I think I might actually have to start doing these things. It's only 30% though. It's not that big of a deal, but I did get the exoskeleton tier 2. So let's actually take care of that. Uh, what else do I get? Yeah, the seeds and all that stuff. Let's turn the light off. Uh, I do actually want to check and see where I'm at with the food grower too. Uh, let's get that out of there. Put that in there. And let's see here. Food grower. Oh! Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. Oh. Okay, I'm a little eager on this. That uh, means food we don't have to worry about. We want to find uh, space food that's probably been sitting there for 20 years. And... Food grower, there we go. Okay, what do I need for it? Just iron, okay. Pretty good. Might have to get a couple of them going, so let's do that. And a food grower, let's put... Hmm. Let's get use this space right here. Oh yeah, that's right. These use these use a lot of power. What do they use? All right, we're up in the solar panels then. So basically, I need the iron, two cobalt and silicone, magnesium, and aluminum. Got the aluminum. Uh, hydration level. Good thing there's ice lying around. Uh, what did I need? Magnesium. That and that, and... I'm just going to go upgrade them all. Okay. 
Uh, let's start in the corner here. Uh, do I have room? No, I don't. Ooh, good thing I checked. Okay. Now these are awfully big solar panels. And these seem to be a little bit better, better on the placement. Okay, and then we go ahead and dis disassemble that one. And then get another one up. Cosmetically, I don't want them actually overlapping as far as like the panels themselves go. I don't know why this is being so picky. Aside from being early access. Yeah, it just doesn't like that one spot. I'll just do it this way. Alright, let me finish them up and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. We're up to almost 100, 100 kilowatts an hour. So that is good. So the solar panels are definitely much better. So what are we going to have for dinner? Well, that's a good question. Let's see. Eggplant, squash, beans, or mushrooms? I don't think it really is any difference on what they do. So I'll do those two. Let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's see here. 100% uh, chance to get seeds back. Uh, growth 30%. It's actually going up pretty quick. Growth speed. Is there a way to actually upgrade these? I don't know. I wonder if there's a second second one. Okay, that gets unlocked at 30. And storage is going to be soon. Uh, let's get that exoskeleton. And we're getting a new drill pretty soon, too. All right, you know what? Since we got heat or power to spare, let's build another one of these. Actually, no, we should get this going. Because we got the power for it. Iron, silicon, titanium. Yeah, iron, silicon, and titanium. Let me gather this stuff. Gather the stuff together. Gather the stuff together for it. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went back to the cave to grab, uh, grab some aluminum. I do have some, not too much, so uh, I think I got all about all I could find there. We might have to go explore wrecks for it, so I needed, uh, uh, I needed a little bit of silicone. What do we need for the terminal? I need more terminal silicone for that, too, so I have to grab some more of that. Grab some iron, uh, magnesium. All right, uh, now the question is, where do I put this? Ideally, I like to put it up there. Let's put some stairs up, shall we? Let's see if... Oh yeah, that's right. We can have floating objects. Put that one there, and... Uh, put another one and see if we can get to the roof. Sure. Once connect there, let's do it. Uh, and then I guess I'll have to put one of these up here. And I'll have to go and get more iron. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, more iron and titanium. Okay. I actually forgot about fall, possible fall damage. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm out of iron already. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Okay. Now, this thing is pretty big. It's very big. Let's see if I can put it right. Come on, where are you gonna go? Oh, you don't wanna... You don't wanna go right in the middle, do you? No, you don't. Uh, hmm. Guess I'll put it right here. Big, massive thing. Okay, and then I just need a screen. I have no idea what this thing does. So, we need a transmission screen. Uh... Put it over there so it don't actually uh, mess up the progress. Okay. Uh, let's see, this is not even a message. You can choose to commute your sentence into an extra extortion. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pause this. Alright, well, apparently I did something wrong and I'm stuck here and I, ha I can't leave until I tell terraform this place and I can only do it with the stuff I found. Uh, I, I'm sure you paused that to read it. Let's get rid of that. And another message came in. Uh, what is it this one? No, that's that one here. Uh, plant specific specifications. Uh, should be two ends there. Unclaimed, yada yada yada. Uh, is this is this shield prime sector? A pre civilization sector across across mostly by trade ships and yada yada yada. Uh, nothing. 
Okay. Anyways, uh, so they're going to be saying this stuff periodically. And uh, what is going on here? 73%. 73%. Alright, now what was I doing? Exoskeletons. Yes. Oh, no. Uh, did I drop anything else? No. Alright, what did I need for this? One more magnesium. I think I can manage that. If I open up the right chest. Wow. Out of resources already. We gotta get those lockers. Uh, where did I get those lockers at? Oh, we have them already. Cool. I'll have to do some inventory management. Alright. Craft that. Uh, take that out. Put that in. And then we can put all this stuff back in. And I have lots of room for other stuff that I don't even have yet. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what are we doing here? Besides storage. Uh, food grower that's going. We got another drill. We can go get that going up. And go from there. And then the, this one is actually. Uh, uh, we can make the super alloy with that. We can make other things. This is, we can actually make the jetpack in here. And I'm actually curious about that because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, okay, biodome. That's one I haven't seen yet either. I basically got. St Ended, ended on me right about here, so I never really got to check out the rest of this stuff. Alright, uh, let me check the recording time and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And so what I've decided is I think we might, uh, uh we'll get one, another one, uh, get one of these tier 3 drills going. Uh, since we do have the resources, I might build another heater or two. And possibly a few more veggie tubes so we can start speeding the process up a little bit. Because we are getting there. Uh, the food is ready. That is good. Do I have inventory space? I do. Alright. Uh, let's see, what do I do here? Oh wow, that's actually better than the, the space food. Space food does 40, this does 60. Nice. And we can replant them too. Now let's see what the mushroom does. 35, okay, so definitely the beans are better. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put the beans back in. Eat the mushroom. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. And let's see what else we can put in there. Uh, let's try the eggplant, I think. Uh, leave the beans on me. Uh, I don't think the food's going to spoil, but you never know. Uh, it doesn't really say anything about what it does, but there we go. Alright, uh, I ended up putting another tier 1 here again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, so the oxygen is going up, so what do I need for the heater? The heater is titanium and aluminum. Okay, aluminum. Grab that, and titanium. Now let's make some more noise here. It's gonna generate so much heat in this, uh, yeah, the iridium. It's gonna generate so much heat in that one corner that the whole base is gonna melt. Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. Put the food in here for now. Hopefully, I don't forget about it. Right, we'll do that. And go up here since we have the power. We might as well use it. And there we go. Now we go down outside. Uh, let's see. I need one more aluminum, one more titanium. Aluminum. Build two more. Well, two of them. Just because. These things are big. So we got small, medium, and a new message. I'm fired. Oh yeah, I forgot how big this thing was. Uh, let's have it going this way. And we'll do that one. And I'm out of power. Uh, that's all it's going to do. Alright, now what did I need to upgrade those solar panels again? Uh, magnesium and aluminum. Alright, I think I can actually manage that. Uh, let's see here. <gasps> I'm out of magnesium. I have one aluminum. Hmm. You know what? It's time for a storm. Get some turbines up. Quick, 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 quick. quick. 
Run, run, run. Get inside. Not that it matters. Maybe we'll watch the view from here. If they have structural damage to this, that's gonna really suck. They might have to they might have to add like force fuel projection protection into the game. But hey, it's free resources. It is kinda odd how they come from random directions like that. Like realistically they should be all in a stream like a carpet bombing. Anyway, there's another day in the neighborhood. Did a good, real, really good job on. Oh, this one's coming in hot. Oh, it missed that. Anyway, uh, I'm not excited for one day. Let's try to get some work done and see where we're at. 70,000. Oh, look at it climb. It's going up pretty quick here. Uh, the oxygen. I'd like to get up a little higher if I could. And what do I have left for these? I got one, and that one doesn't really do much. Alright, now what do I need for this? I need two ice and magnesium. And, of course, I need the magnesium. Is it over? What do you notice? It's almost like the rain in my city. You can start one minute and then stop the next. Anyway, uh, what was I building? I was building a food grower. Not a food grower, a uh, veggie tube. Veggie tube tier 2. Oh, I need ice. And. Uh, put this one over here. It was tier 2, yes, it was. Uh, okay, and we will put this thing in here. Uh, let's see where we're at now. 8.4. That's actually going up pretty quick. That is good. So where's our next unlock? We got a nuclear reactor at 60,000 pressure. That's a long ways away. Uh, I have to get a few more of these going because as you can see it only increases 17 a second. And I need 60,000. I believe that's 60,000. Uh, Biodome comes up at the heat. That's dependent on those. We do get a tier 3 heater at 80 oxygen which is a ways away. So right now it's a matter of waiting game or mass, 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 mass production, which of course is mass resource collection. Anyways, what does this message say? Riley, I finally managed to locate the system they sent you in. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advi advice. The success rate of planet craft is, is slow. It's so low because it's nearly an impossible task. If you find some space food in your pond, it may be in spa space. For space is Rex. Should be space Rex. Uh, translation, I'm sure. You'll be able to grow food by yourself. And sounds like I should have gotten this message about two episodes ago. Anyways, I think we're gonna end up calling it here. Uh, eggplant is a little ways away. We'll see how that is in the next episode. Uh, what I will do between now and then is before we start making, I before we get to the blue sky. Anyways, I'll shut the power system down. As I don't think anything else is really going to get unlocked out before that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start switching all the storage over to these big lockers here. In fact, what we will do... Uh, three iron. Do I ha even have three iron? No, I don't. Let me get rid of that, grab that, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Uh, I might have to start upgrading the base to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll throw a couple of floors on and move those heaters up about six stories up so we don't have to listen to them anyways so this is the large cabinet uh i guess i'll put this one here for now just to show you how big it is is that the right way no it's not and there we go so i think uh these ones are what three rows yeah three rows and this is seven rows so that's good so, yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll get up a little storage area, try to stockpile a bunch of stuff so we can start making progress and go from there. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.